So I was looking to create some professional headshots because one, I just don't have any in the corporate space, essentially. I've never worked in corporate America, so I don't have corporate headshots. And so the look I was kind of looking to go for was this kind of headshot looking, um, you know, the standard headshot, right? Um, and I only have like a, a picture from my wedding, essentially, which is this far left one. And so I was looking, how can I create headshots? And I thought, you know what? I just did a video on AI, I'll do that. And so I created these headshots of me. And they're pretty good. I would say these two are way off because one, I don't have hair. And this looks like uh, not me at all. But these two look pretty solid. So I'm just gonna actually download one of these and add them to my website. Because upload that photo that I just downloaded um, and to think about it, I mean, that's AI generated. And I, it just took my photo um, and I uploaded it and then it created this image based off of a prompt. And so now I can set the pixels, it would be like 75, uh, maybe, maybe 125. And I can do maybe, I think I can make it a circle, right? Yeah. And so now I have my AI generated image that looks like me. I mean, it is me, but it's a um, one that is in business attire. And so uh, it was really easy to do this. I'm using a tool and there's a million of them out there. I've, uh, and this is the most recent one that I'm messing with, but Flux or it's called FAL.AI and it's Flux Dev with Oral. And so I've done a few videos on this already. But if you go to the home page, which is fal.ai, um, and go to explore, and you see models, you wanna click on train a flux aura. You could do advanced or fast. I think I did uh, fast, but the advanced is really easy. All I did was upload 20 images here. And I actually did them from various uh, angles. So I did uh, some that I downloaded from Facebook and then I just took my cell phone and I just took uh, snapshots of photos all around my face. Different angles, different lighting, um, different uh, looks, just so I could get you know, all of my imperfections. And so I used that, uploaded it here and then I just put my name here and then I started it. <clears throat> and then that allowed me to get, uh, you know, unlimited images of a doppelganger of myself, essentially. And I can put that into any kind of uh, whatever. Uh, I did business attire. I did some other uh, images previously. I wonder if there is actually a uh, previous. I can find previous versions that I've done. So uh, I'll mess around with it. I'm not going to waste too much time because I'm lazy. But essentially, once you train your model, it will be right here, trained in history. And so this is my essential uh, train of my face. And so I can run an inference and my trigger word, and that trigger word you set was right here. So I put my name, uh, you can put your name, you can put uh, your first name, whatever that is. So my trigger word, uh, Brandon Duff, and I just put business professional. I found that using ChatGPT to ask ChatGPT to create you something that is a, um, a prompt text to uh, image is the best route to go. So if we go to ChatGPT, uh, I actually use this prompt right here. Um, I said, hey ChatGPT, I need a prompt for text to image that would give a professional face shot for a business. And so this is what it gave me and I just replaced uh, a confident business person with my name. And so that is what I use for this. So let's just give it a, another prompt. Create me another one, but I want a uh, colorful background. And so we'll uh, try this. And so create a professional headshot of a confidence business person. So again, we'll just replace this with my own name. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put that in flux. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab my the trigger word and of 
And then we'll just replace this. Brandon Duff, smiling in a tailored suit. The background should be vibrant and colorful, featuring a soft gradient. And so we can put some more options here. Uh, the size, so if we wanted to do portrait, square, whatever that is. Uh, default, number of inferences, so if we wanted to uh, be less expensive, uh, the default 28 seed. Path, I don't know what that stuff is. Uh, you can obviously read it. This is the weight in which Laura weighs before it merges with the base model whatever that means, number of images. So I put four last time. Uh, I found that when I did, uh, what was it? I did what, uh, four and two of them didn't really look like me. So let's give this a go. And uh, let's, yeah, should be pretty good. And this loads pretty quickly. You'll, you'll be surprised how fast it generates. And so as you can see, for at this cost, it'll, I can do for one, one dollar, I can do 29 images essentially. And so here we go, professional images. And here we go, I mean, these look perfect just like me. Um, I would say this is probably the best one. Um, obviously I have no hair. I don't know where, they, where they're getting this hair from. But um, even if the hair wasn't there, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty good. So, um, you, so this is where it can kind of get a little bit crazy because if you think about this, uh, let's, let's try this prompt. So give me more presenting in front of people for a prompt. So here's a prompt. Uh, give me an image of a confidence business giving a professional presentation. So standing in front of a modern presentation screen. Uh, so let's see how that looks um, with me. And so we'll go here, uh, run my inference. So we'll go Brandon. of Brandon and we'll do four images again just so we have all of uh, our bases covered and we'll run this so this is kind of the crazy thing about this because you can literally create situations that um, uh, allow you to really um, show off your uh, you know whatever you want to show off so uh, I mean like this is pretty good. Like the hands look good. I mean, I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe I'm holding something. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've I, obviously I have six fingers there. Um, this really doesn't look like me. Um, hands look good though. Hands look solid. Um, I don't know what they're getting this ring, but I mean, they have a lot. I mean, this looks pretty solid. But that's what I'm saying. Like, this is pretty interesting. I mean, it even looks like there's people here. That doesn't look like me at all. But I mean, you you change the prompt just a little bit and uh, you have some interesting photos. You can do this too. Like I said, really, really easy. Uh, all you have to do is go back to uh, explore and then the models. All the links will be in the description. But uh, try, uh, you can train a Flux Aura. I use the Fast Training. You can use the Advance if you want. And then I just uploaded 20 images in here. And that's it. So I hope that was helpful for how you can create your own business professional images.